In a 2011 radio interview, Ralph Tresvant finally reveals who inspired his 1991 hit, Do What I Gotta Do. You no, know, but Do What I Gotta Do, man, that was a song. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that was funny because at the time, there was a girl in the studio that I was dating at the time in Minneapolis. And I was cutting the song, and I had just met her during the time period, you know, when I was doing the song. Little, bad little girl, man. She was fine. And she, we hook up all the time while I was in Minneapolis. I stayed down there for about three, four months. I can't remember how long it was exactly. And she would come in the studio, and she would hear me doing the rated R's, and she would hear me doing some of the sensitivities and some of the other songs on there. And when she got in the studio, I heard me cutting. She was just me, her, and Jimmy Jam in the studio, and she heard me cutting, do what I got to do, and I came out of the booth, and she was just boo-hooing. Just crying. I'm like, I'm like, what's the problem? She's like, because I know this is exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I was like, no, you know, you know, this is new. You know, I don't, I'm not feeling that like that to you. This is, you know, this is my way of, there's no song that teach people how to break up properly. Right. That's, why, that's why you got so many bad breakups, you know. So, you know, I'm trying wanted to do a song that addressed it in a way that, you know, it, it helped people understand it doesn't have to be a bad breakup. You can break up in a smooth in a, in a smooth way where, you know, you can still be friends. But it wasn't really going toward her. Um, at the end of the day, it, it ended up being real. That is what happened. <laughs> so <laughs> she kind of she kind of had ESP on that one and saw through all of that. But yeah, <laughs> I, right then and there, but, I but, see, I saw the But you know the cold thing about it, though, Riz, is, is the fact that it's still relevant to this day, man. Like, you know, did you know when you made that after it was done? Like, you know what? It's, it's going to stand the test of time. And 20 years from now, people are going to slap that in there, and it's still going to have that same feeling or that same meaning that it did when you first dropped it. Now, only God knows what it's going to really do. You